This video is produced and brought to you by Custody Rights USA, fighting for justice, truth, and custody. Please subscribe, like, and share this video if you support holding crooked judges accountable. Welcome to Judge Cahoon's Kangaroo Court. Warning to shysters. The next page contains an image of a bomb and could be wrongly be interpreted by hack lawyers. The image of the bomb exploding is not intended to represent and or condone, incite, conspire, coordinate, and or anything similar to a threat, violence, destruction of property, and or but not limited to harassment of any human being and or living creature. The artistic liberty of this image is in the context of a hyperbole, figuratively and or as a metaphor to destroy a lie with truth. Judge Cohoon hates facts. Judge Cohoon hates good fathers. Judge Cohoon hates the truth because the truth is that Heather Tesmer is Judge Cohoon's close friend and chooses not to recuse herself. What a joke. The following is an official court transcript where Jeffrey Palachik's lawyer, Matthew Gilbert, asks Jeffrey's ex-wife, and I quote, and you trusted that the girls were safe with Jeffrey, right? In which Jeffrey's ex-wife replies, yeah, he never physically harmed the kids. Matthew Gilbert then asks, okay, and if you thought that there was any danger to your kids, then you wouldn't have let them be in the house, correct? Jeffrey's ex-wife replies, right, right. Let me repeat that for you, Judge Cohen. My ex-wife gave sworn testimony that I was never a danger to my kids, so, so why are you still alienating my kids from me? The following is another official court transcript where Jeffrey's ex-wife admits that she returned the guns to Jeffrey prior to moving out of the house. She knew there were guns in the house. She knew the girls were spending time with him and she knew the children were seeing their father unsupervised. Really Judge Cahoon, what type of kangaroo court are you operating? You have zero reason to keep withholding and alienating Jeffrey's children from him. And then the evidence has shown that Jeffrey's ex-wife would steal his guns and other items and then tell him that he had to pay her to get them back. Judge Cahoon, are you blind? The evidence shows you proof that my ex-wife would steal my guns and tell Jeffrey to give her money and she would give them back. Judge Cahoon, you have zero reason to keep Jeffrey Polachik's children from him. What is wrong with you, seriously? Here we go. This is an email from Heather Tesmer, Judge Cohoon's friend telling Jeffrey that it is okay for him to violate the protection order. Absolutely brilliant, Miss Tesmer. It is the belief of Custody Rights USA that Miss Tesmer can have her law license revoked or suspended for saying this because she should know that she does not have the authority to tell Jeffrey he can violate the protection order. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Heather Tesmer had Jeffrey Paulachik arrested for being within the 500 feet area of the protection order. That should have never been issued, and Judge Cahoon knew it should have never been issued. This is abuse of process, malicious prosecution, and deprivation of rights under the color of law. Buckle your seatbelts, my friends. This does not stop here. So, this graphic shows the courthouse, which is the gray building with the number 4 inside it. You will notice the different color circles. These represent the restricted 500-foot radiuses that Jeffrey was not allowed to enter. Is it just me or do you see what I see, which is that the court is located within the 500-feet restricted radius? Yes. You guessed it. Heather Tesmer told Jeffrey he could violate the protection order. Jeffrey Pavlachik emailed the Kendall County Court Coordinator asking him how he was supposed to come to court when the court is located within the 500 feet and the incompetent clown court could only answer that, and I quote, you are ordered to come to court, well, really Sherlock Holmes. No da he is ordered to come to court, now can you answer how he is supposed to come to court? The incompetent clown court could not answer such a simple question. The police said Jeffrey Pavlachik could not come to court without being in violation of the protection order. The Kendall County District Attorney and the Kendall County Kangaroo Court are incompetent and clearly not smart enough to do simple math because the formula is simple in that you are either inside the 500 feet or you are not. Why is this court not paying attention to the fact that Heather Tesmer told Jeffrey he can violate the protection order? Hmm. 
I wonder why. Could it be that Judge Cahoon is friends with Heather Tesmer, I wonder? The evidence shows that. Officer Real H355 said that, by looking at the map if you are within the colored areas. At 500 feet as you were saying, listed on the protective order, if you were within that 500 feet then yes, you are in violation of the protective order. Jeffrey Pavlachik replies, even if I am parked at the courthouse, according to this, an officer real H355 then says, yeah, because you are still within that 500 feet, well folks, how is it that the police say that Jeffrey Pavlachik can be arrested for being anywhere within the 500 feet, Jeffrey was ordered to court and walked back directly to his truck. This kangaroo clown court is a joke. Now here is another huge problem. The graphic on your screen shows the rules that Judge Cahoon give notice of. Judge Cahoon says that non-agreed continuances have to be filled seven days prior to the hearing day. This has to be the most incompetent. Now, what do we have here? Oh look. This is an email from the Kendall County Clerk's Office informing Jeffrey Pavlachik that they failed to file his motion for continuance and made a mistake. So many problems with this. This first problem is that the district clerk sent Jeffrey Pavlachik this email on a Friday and the hearing was Monday, which you could say is four days. Judge Cahoon's rules said a continuance has to be filled no less than seven days prior to the hearing. Unreal. The evidence has shown that Jeffrey Pavlachik has a right to be heard according to the law. The Kendall County clerk and this trial court deprived Jeffrey Pavlachik his right to be heard according to the law in accordance with the law and deprived him his rights under the color of law. This is a real deal, kangaroo court. Unbelievable. Now, here is the next scam from the kangaroo court. Here is Judge Cahoon's own words as follows, and I quote, I need to make sure that the counseling is happening. I mean, I can just get a report from the counselor that the counseling is happening. That's how I would like to see it happen. End quote. Well, folks, Look at what we have here. Could this be a report from a counselor? Well, yes it is. The first part explains and details Jeffrey Pavlachik's PTSD from what has been done to him. This next part show the following as if it was repeated verbatim by Jeffrey Pavlachik's counselor, and I quote, It is my professional opinion that at this time there is no reason to suspect that Mr. Pavlachik is a danger to himself or others, and that the barriers that exist between him and his children are not benefiting any of their welfare. I advocate that the client be able to exercise his right to unsupervised visitation with his children. End quote. Now, you can see the evidence. The record will show that this trial court say this evidence from a counselor that is licensed by the state of Texas and granted the authority by the state of Texas to come to the conclusion that he did. You guessed it. Judge Cahoon and her kangaroo court is still depriving children from a loving parent, despite a counselor that is licensed by the state of Texas saying that it's okay for the children to be with their dad. Judge Cahoon, you are clueless, Clueless Cahoon's kangaroo court is a scam, it's a hoax and a joke. Did Judge Cahoon slip on a banana peel from her Banana Republic kangaroo court? You guessed it. It gets even more crazy. In the most recent court orders, it says the following as if it was repeated verbatim, and I quote, The court further finds that awarding Jeffrey Pavlachik access to the children would not endanger the children's physical health or emotional welfare and would be in the best interest of the children. Ends quote. Are you kidding me? Judge Cahoon, are you kidding? You just said that you find that awarding Jeffrey Pavlachik access to the children would not endanger the children's physical health or emotional welfare and would be in the best interest of the children and you see the counselor's report that you requested and you still refuse to allow children to see their father. You are a joke, Judge Cahoon, you are psychologically abusing Jeffrey Pavlachik's children and also abusing Jeffrey. Seriously, you are a joke and have no right to be a judge. Governor Abbott should put forth a motion to have to impeached. How can you do this to children? Ignore evidence that clearly shows Jeffrey is telling the truth and he does what you asked him to do and you still alienate his children from his. Now look at this. The following is the official court record. When Jeffrey Paul Azik asks his ex-wife under oath, who has the best interest of his children, does the court have the best interest of the children, or does the parents? 
the record will show that Jeffrey Paul Azag's ex-wife replied back that, this trial court does not have the best interest of the children, and the children's parents know what is best for their children. Just Cahoon, you are a joke. You just heard sworn testimony that basically tells you to basically, F off, and you do not know the best interest of our children. You continue to think that the best interest of the children is to tell their father to do these things, and he does them and you still do not allow him to see his children. You are clueless. Comes now, Jeffrey Pavlachik, petitioner, and asks this court to answer the following questions of law as essential to justice and essential to the proper protection of substantive and procedural due process in this case, and asks this court to take judicial notice of the well-established substantive and procedural rights applicable in this case and raises objections, and petitioner raises a plea to this court's subject matter jurisdiction. Petitioner requests this court to issue a protective order and quash any request by respondent that this court take judicial state action in the absence of all substantive and procedural guarantees applicable to the rights at issue in these proceedings being afforded. Petitioner asks this court to resolve the following questions of Law 1 whether the parties to this child custody dispute between fit parents are entitled to the substantive protections associated with the first, fourth, and fourteenth amendment rights at issue in custody proceedings, two, whether the parties are entitled to the procedural protections of the Eldridge balancing test, three, whether the parties are entitled to obtain a just, fair, equitable, and impartial adjudication of the rights of litigants under established principles of substantive law, four, whether the parent-child association that litigants have with their child is an intimate and expressive close family association protected by the First Amendment. 5. Whether petitioner's petition asks this court to impose time, place, or manner prior restraints on petitioner's speech, association, and worship with petitioner's children. 6. Whether respondent's petition asks this court to impose content-based prior restraints. 7. Whether the litigant's parent-child association rights are individual rights independent of the marital status of the litigants or of the changes in the status, and 8. Whether the child has standing to have his, her, best interests or any other interests asserted by the judge or by any appointed officer in these proceedings. Jeffrey Paul Azaik, a pro se litigant and the petitioner, hereby gives notice that he desires for in motion for extraordinary relief on writ of habeas corpus on claims of actual innocence and from this trial court's prosecutorial misconduct, abuse of judicial discretion, abuse of process and deprivation of rights under the color of law may be submitted in a writ of habeas corpus. Jeffrey Paul Azaik also brings forth his claim because of ineffective assistance of counsel, Reed Green, Representations was so far below the professional standards lawyers must adhere to that what he or she did was unreasonable, and resulted in an unfavorable outcome. Judge Cahoon. Stop alienating Jeffrey Pavlachik's children from a loving father. Seriously Judge Cahoon, why do you continue to abuse Jeffrey Pavlachik and his children? This is sick, how can you ignore evidence? Judge Cahoon. You have zero reason to continue to deprive Jeffrey Pavlachik's children from their loving father. Judge Cahoon, please stop this abuse. What are you doing? This is child abuse. Thank you for watching this video. Please visit custodyrightsusa.org to donate and to learn more. Please email service at custodyrightsusa.org for any questions. Custody Rights USA also offers professional video design services. Please contact us and let us detail how we can help add value to your YouTube videos. Please subscribe, like and share this video if you support holding crooked judges accountable. I am now going to read a Bible passage that is very close to my heart. It is 2 Corinthians 12 verses 7 to 10. But I must not be too proud of the wonderful things that were shown to me. So a painful problem was shown to me, an angel from Satan, sent to make me suffer, so that I would not think that I am better than anyone else. I begged the Lord to take this problem away from me. But the Lord said, My grace is all you need. Only when you are weak can everything be done completely by my power. So I will gladly boast about my weaknesses then Christ's power can stay in me. Yes, I am glad to have weaknesses if they are for Christ. I am glad to be insulted and have hard times. 
I am glad when I am persecuted and have problems. Because it is when I am weak that I am really strong.